Hello everyone, so today I will be talking about the difference between trigger splits and conditional splits, where you can use them, how to use them, what is the positives and negatives, the pros and cons of each of those two. We will start by creating a flow and I will create a flow from scratch so we can properly show some things. So as you know, in Klaviyo, when you're creating a flow, uh, you have this new setup and there are several ways to create flows. Flows or automations called in other ESPs are automations that happen after certain event happens. So something needs to happen, people need to take some action and with that they will trigger this automation which will have several number of notifications, emails or whatever you want to put into the flow or automation. In Klaviyo the options that we have as triggers for the flows are when someone is added to a list, when someone is added to the segment, uh, when they trigger some metric like start the checkout place order uh, or something similar, date property, this is more for birthday flows and stuff like that, or price drop, this is to inform people when your products drop prices on your store. But right now we will be main talking about the first three because the topic here is trigger split versus uh, conditional split. And the first thing that I want to point out is that for the first two, the triggers added to list and added to segment don't have the option of trigger split. Why is that? I will explain later. But because we don't have the option for trigger split for those two, I will create a metric trigger flow. And just for this specific case, I will use checkout started. Or we can use any other trigger. It can be placed order. It can be like any metric that is uh, having some data. Let's use placed order here. Confirm. So now when we created this, you can see here on the side that we have two logic options. One is conditional split, one is trigger split. And again, that is because this is this flow is triggered by placed order, which is a metric. If we change this and I open another flow that I also created before, this one is triggered by when someone is added to a list, you will see in the logic that for this specific flow, you only have conditional split. And again, that is because for flows triggered by lists or by segments we don't have the option of trigger uh, split why this is the the case i will it will be more clear once i start explaining how the trigger split works compared to the conditional split and we can start that now what is the difference between those two the difference is that the trigger split only has information that is contained in the trigger of the event that happened again for lists and segments this is not available because the only event that happened there is someone was added to a list and that is all we know about that specific event we don't know anything else we know that some person is added to a list or some person is added to a segment and there is no additional information so the trigger split in that situation would not be necessary because there would be nothing to split related to the trigger everyone was added to the list and we don't need additional split related to the trigger. While if we have a placed order, a metric as a trigger, there are so many different things that happen. If you start a checkout, you can have different products in your checkout. You can have, you can buy different products from different collection, your value of the card or the placed order that you had may be different and so many things may be different. So that is why we have a trigger split that is connected to the metric that is trigger of the flow that consists a lot of information that you can use for your marketing purposes. Conditional split, on the other hand, is not connected to this trigger specifically. It is connected to the person's profile, to the subscriber profile. If I am subscriber of a brand, if I bought something in the past, if Claudio has my information, conditional split will make it available, all the data for that specific person to use to make a split in this flow. Again, trigger split will only allow us to do the split depending on what the information we have for this specific event when the flow was triggered, while conditional split will give us all previous data, but it's not related to this specific trigger. One example to give you, but the main difference will be, so if you use a trigger split here and we want to do, let's say, when someone placed an order for specific 
value and let's say we want to do five hundred dollars and save so now well actually it shouldn't be equal it should be greater than okay so in this case what we are saying when someone placed an order for this specific order the one order that, that triggered this flow if the that specific order is more than five hundred dollars move them this path and maybe send them this type of email if it is less than 500 go to no path and send them different type of email or don't send them any email at all depending on what the strategy is if you use conditional split we will not be able to do that first of all let me show you so we can go place order at least once first of all we don't have value in the conditional split but even if it did that would be different so let me give you another example so i can give you a better explanation of the differences so if you use collection so let's say uh, someone bought from collection a we don't have that collection but this is just example so with this trigger split we are saying if people when they placed order bought some product that was part of collection a send them through yes path if they didn't send them to no path we can do a similar thing in the conditional split and we can say placed order where collection was collection a in the last because there is no time delay we can say in last one day for example so now these two, do, these two splits are pretty similar. This is saying if, if in the last day someone placed an order for collection A, send them yes path. And this is saying if in this specific event someone placed an order for collection A, send them this path. So why is in this case the trigger split better? Because trigger A is exactly connected to what this person bought this time. This is saying in the last one day, yeah in most cases this will be true but what will happen if people placed three orders in the last day for some for some reason not just one placed order so let's say someone bought from collection a collection b and collection c but when they trigger this flow they trigger it with collection c and now this flow is not about the other orders it's about collection c so in this case in the trigger split it would be no part because this specific event was not about collection a and in conditional split it will be but yes because it is checking depending on how much time passed since they placed an order it is checking personal uh, subscriber profile if they placed an order at any time in the last one day for a specific collection while this is more precise the trigger split is more precise is and it is connected exactly to the order that triggered this flow and this is important specifically if you want to do let's say you want to do a cross sell and if people bought specific thing you want to show them out because you know the dynamic information is available when metrics are used as triggers so you can show them okay this is the product that you bought but maybe you want to buy also this product which is compatible with the product that you bought and it is a great upgrade or additional thing and if you do that trigger split will be much more accurate because it will know exactly you will be able to show the product that you want that triggered the flow with the placed order and you will be able to show the exact product that they bought well in conditional split again as we said they may have placed the order for product a, uh, collection a but that may have been another order from the last 24 hours and they trigger this flow with another order and then when you are showing what they bought you will not be able exactly to know what to promote to them because it may show a different product it will show the product from collection c so in general that's the main difference between those two the trigger split is directly connected to the event of the flow the trigger that started the flow i place an order and for that specific order trigger split has all the information about it conditional split only has the information about me as a person what i bought in the past but it's not collected to the specific event or trigger of the flow hopefully this makes sense 
we can still get to the same information as i said the chances of people buying multiple times in the same day are small but still this is not 100 percent correct trigger split is 100 percent correct of what people bought when they trigger the flow we can show exactly that product conditional split is not the best situation for that but if you want to use for example a split where someone is from specific location you will not be able to do that with a trigger split because again we said trigger split is connected to the event and place order doesn't say if you as a person are from us or from europe or from australia but conditional split because it has the information for people the personal information for your subscribers this will be able to give you the location of where people are from and you can say if someone is from us send them this kind of email if someone is from europe send them this kind of email and so on so that is the main difference between those one is connected to the event the trigger event one is connected to the personal profile it can be used in similar way but depending on what you do in some cases trigger splits are better in some cases conditional splits are better i hope this is clear enough if not feel free to ask questions and we'll try to give you the answer to those things thanks want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you if that's the case let our team of email marketing experts show you how with our free email marketing audit we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts provide you with action plan and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today in case you have any additional questions about this video please leave them under this video and to show the support please please click on that thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel see you next thursday bye